Good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name remains Oluwatumbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Okay, so for today we'll be looking into the construction of a superior trochoid. Yeah, a superior trochoid of 0.12 mm outside a rolling circle of 64 mm diameter. All right, so we have to make uh, the circle, we have to let the circle make a 1.5 revolution, that is one and a half revolution, all right, with the initial position of the tracing point at the bottom of its vertical center line. Okay, so for this drawing, I will be drawing it on a reduced scale, that is on a scale of one ratio two. So that implies that every dimension on the question on the screen will be what's divided into two, will be divided by two. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is to produce uh, this horizontal line in this manner. Okay, after that, I'm going to what, uh, produce a vertical line to it right like this in this manner also. So then after that, we are told that the rolling circle is diameter what, 64. 64 divided by 2 is what, 32. And 32 divided by 2 is radius what, radius 16, which is uh, this. Okay, with radius 16 from this midpoint, okay, I'm going to what? Draw this circle. I'm going to draw that circle. All right. So we are told that the superior trochoid itself is point of what? 12 mm outside. 12 divided by 2 is what? 6. Okay. So 16 plus 6, that is what? That is 22. So with my compass, I measure radius what? radius 22 which is this so with radius 22 from this center right here what i draw the second circle which is this okay after drawing the second circle the next procedure is this i am going to actually divide this inner circle do you see yeah this inner circle like this i'm going to divide it into what into 12 equal halves so standing right here all right, so I have divided this particular circle into what? Into 12 equal halves. So the next thing to do is what is the numbering. So my numbering starts from the base here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, over what? Over 12. That is what? A complete revolution. But the question says it makes a 1.5 revolution, which is what? 1 and a half. So it will be what? 1 over 13. 2 over 14, 3 over 15, 4 over 16, 5 over 17, and 6 over what? Over 18. All right, after doing that, the next procedure is this. The next procedure is this. I'm going to pick uh, one of the divisor of this internal circle. Okay, that's it. One of the divisor. Then starting from the main point here, I'm going to step it off 18 times. Okay, 18 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight and what mark 18 after stepping it up stepping it off 18 times what's the next procedure the next procedure is to uh draw this okay yeah from the i'm going to draw a line tangential to the bigger circle here okay in this order then i'm going to move to uh the next one which is what on mark one and mark 11 on the same plane i what i draw the next is mark what mark uh two and ten on the same plane i what i draw next is what mark three and i already did next is what mark four and eight which is this i what i draw next is what mark five and seven which is this then i what i draw next is what mark of what six over 18 which is what this then i what then i draw Okay, so the next thing here is to project each of uh, the points which I offset earlier on. Okay, I'm going to project them vertically, vertically in this order. Okay, so starting from here, down here, starting from here, okay, down here. Okay, so after drawing that, I'm going to do the numbering outside now. All right, so what is the next procedure now? The next procedure is to do my numbering on this plane also. This will be what? Mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 
17 and 18 all right after that the next thing is what i'm going to pick that radius of 22 which i picked earlier on yeah with this radius 22 so if you check the question the question says we should take our tracing point starting from the bottom of the vertical center line so this is the vertical center line and this is what bottom so starting right here okay first of all i'm going to what asterisk this that's it right there okay next is what from this center down okay from center of the vertical line of point one yeah from center of the vertical line of point one okay i'm going to what draw a circle faintly this is where it touches the what horizontal line of what of point one that circle touches it so coming to point two here the center line on the vertical plane of point two which is this okay i'm going to draw a circle faintly also all right so my circle horizontal line of mark two this is where it's what it touches i'm going to what asterisk that okay for mark three which is this that you see that i'm going to what draw it faintly so this is where it's what it touches for mark three right there so for mark four which is this center i place my compass there i what i draw my circle for mark four this is where it touches what the horizontal line on what on mark four so for mark five which is this okay i what i draw my circle thin line okay so this is where it touches the horizontal line of what mark five so for mark six from this junction okay i what i draw so this is where it touches the horizontal line for what for mark six right there for mark seven which is this all right so i what i draw i draw for mark seven which is this so this way it touches the horizontal line yeah for mark seven all right so for mark eight which is this okay so i draw all right this way it touches the horizontal line of what of mark eight so for mark nine which is this i what i draw this way it touches the horizontal line of what of mark nine all right so for mark 10 which is this okay so i draw this way it touches the horizontal line of what of mark 10 all right so for mark 11 which is this i draw okay so this way it touches the horizontal line of what of mark 11 all right so for mark 12 which is this i draw i draw so my mark 12 ends right here ends right there okay so for mark 13 which is what this 13 and the one on the same plane so i what i draw so this is where it touches forward original line of what mark 13 okay so for mark 14 which is this okay this is where it touches the horizontal line of what of mark 14 so i didn't mean we are doing for a complete revolution we are going to actually stop it at mark 12 here okay but since this one is one and a half revolution which is 1.5 then we need to what continue until we get what mark 18 all right so that is it so now i've done mark 14 now mark 15 on mark 15 placing my compass right there drawing the circle faintly on mark 15 i'm having what it right here okay so for mark 16 which is right here okay so i draw for mark 16 okay and it's touching it here right here so for mark 17 which is this i what i draw for mark 17 and it touches it right here mark 17 so for mark 18 which is this i what i draw and my, my 18 is what is the position right here okay so as it is now i have the trace for my what for my superior true code i have the trace so all i need to do is what pick my french curve and what and trace out the points okay all right so for this point i'm going to what draw this yeah for that point okay all right so i'm going to join this all the way down here like this now i'm going to join this down here like this okay all right so for this area this is it right here okay 
right there on this area right here okay and this area right here okay so turning back we have this right here yeah right here okay then we have this right here you have this right here all right and we have uh, this right here okay so that is 1.5 revolution all right so uh, the circumference of that uh, rolling circle we need to actually deduce that we need to show it and that is from here down here okay so this is a conference of the rolling circle right here okay so that is the solution uh to the problem on the screen so kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it i remain oluwatumbi blessing olalekon the founder of michael tech thank you